Welcome to the world of mud, water, and one very funny little fish, the mud skipper. You've seen fish that swim, right? But what about a fish that can walk, hop, and climb on land? That's the mud skipper, a fish that decided to explore life outside the ocean. Mudskippers are small, cute fish that live in mangroves, swamps, and muddy shores of Africa, Asia, and Australia. They love sticky, gooey mud. The muddier, the better. They look like regular fish, but their eyes stick out on top of their heads like tiny periscopes. This helps them peek around while half buried in the mud or watching for predators and snacks. Now here's the cool part. Mudskippers don't just swim, they walk on land. They use their strong fins like little hands to push and hop across the mud. It's like a fish doing a push-up competition. They can even climb roots and rocks to explore above the waterline. For a fish, that's like climbing a mountain. Wait a second, how can a fish live on land? Don't they need water to breathe? You're right, but mud skippers are special. They can breathe through their skin and the inside of their mouth as long as they stay wet. That's why you'll often see them covered in shiny slime. It keeps them from drying out. They also carry a little water bubble inside their gill chambers, like their own mini scuba tank. So even when they're hopping around on land, they've got a bit of water with them. Mud skippers are also amazing builders. They dig tunnels in the soft mud to make their homes. These burrows keep them cool and safe when the sun is hot or when predators are nearby. When it's lunchtime, mud skippers go hunting in the mud. They eat tiny creatures like worms, insects, and small crabs. Sometimes they even munch on algae. With their quick tongues, they can snatch food before it escapes. They might look funny, but they're fast and clever hunters. Now, mudskippers may look small, but they can be very protective of their space. If another mudskipper tries to take over their patch of mud, it's mud battle time. They puff up their bodies, open their mouths wide, and even jump at each other to show who's boss. Don't worry, it's mostly for show. After a little mud wrestling, everyone calms down. When it's time for baby mud skippers to hatch, the parents lay eggs deep inside their burrows. The parents make sure the eggs stay safe from predators and dry air. When the baby mud skippers finally hatch, they start life in the water. As they grow, they begin their own muddy adventures on land. Mud skippers are small but super important for the environment. They keep mud flats healthy by digging, mixing the soil, and eating tiny creatures that might otherwise take over. They're also part of the food chain. Birds and larger fish rely on them for meals. So protecting mud skippers helps keep the whole mangrove ecosystem in balance. The mud skipper may be small, but it teaches us something big, that life can adapt in the most amazing ways. From swimming in water to walking on land, it proves that being different is a superpower. So next time you see a muddy puddle or a mangrove forest, remember, it might just be home to one of nature's funniest, smartest little fish, the mud skipper. Thanks for joining us in the muddy world of mudskippers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe Bright Minds Kid for more fun science adventures. See you next time.